I feel like there's been so many expectations pressed on me and pressed on like women in general in society that I genuinely feel like I'm failing. A lot of people look at our life and then they're like, oh, I would like to live that, but there's there's some responsibility. So yeah. still manifest it, still do it, but just know that like we're trying our best, but we're not perfect people and it's a lot. Gang, uh, welcome back to the podcast. I'm your host, Swag you see my beautiful wife, Bailey Amethyst, right next to me. Um, we can get right into it. I feel like you have some things you want to get off your Yeah, chest. today we're talking about overwhelmment, um, and that is a word. If you've ever read the book, Asking It Is Forgiving, or A Course in Miracles, they use the term overwhelmment, and it's just like a very extreme term of being overwhelmed, okay? So this week has been really rough for me. Now, take it, I'm pregnant. Obviously, I have a lot on my plate at all times, but I've cried like three times this week because I genuinely have to question myself of like, am I doing enough as a wife? Am I doing enough as a mom? And I feel like I'm failing. And let me paint it this way. So number one, I have a husband who does not care if I cook or clean. He doesn't require me to do too much. He thinks that I'm like a great wife. I have a daughter who is one and she thinks I'm a superhero, but I feel like there's been so many expectations pressed on me and pressed on like women in general and society that I genuinely feel like I'm failing. I feel like I'm just not doing enough and I don't know how to get past these feelings because as much as I can go to swag for a shirt, like him to like assure me, I'm like, no, I'm sorry. Like I just, I'm, I'm not doing the typical things that a wife is supposed to be doing, and therefore I must suck. Yeah, no, I, I didn't even think you were taking it there because um, I don't <laughs> agree with any of that. I mean, I don't agree that you're sucking any, not even one percent. I thought you were going to take it in the sense of that because um, I know what I'm not struggling with, but I guess struggling with is that uh, mm -hmm. because we do so much or have a, a mad yeah. so much, there's so much pressure yeah. on us um that people expect of us yeah um and uh you know i got a few examples you know and then we can obviously you know dive into what you were saying yeah and let's go um, both ways both in the ways. conversation yeah. because i agree with that too i think like taken aside from that of like i'm not just a mom i'm not just a wife we have built something where we still have career roles to fulfill and we still have family that depends on us and we there's just so many things that build on top of each other so that pressure gets tough and yeah. there's just you know yeah because i didn't expect like um you know becoming successful or, or doing what you get like it requires so much so prime example in the last maybe 40 days and i told you this on a golf cart i don't know what it is in the air yeah but like people are just like lacking struggling struggling and like i've gotten and this is not even like a joke yeah. like at least over 30 texts not a lie of people mm -hmm. saying it could be the closest of friends it could be people i haven't talked to in a year yo I am struggling. Um, You're I'm, my last resort. Yeah, I'm either about to get evicted mm -hmm. or, and that's like several people. Yeah. And I need about 15,000. I need 20,000. I need 10,000. Mm -hmm. I need 30,000. I need this and that. And let me say this. We, like, and this is the hard part too, because me and Swag are known to like help people. Like genuinely, like, I think I've had paid like four people out of eviction in the last few months. Yeah, and we paid a million dollars in 2020 uh, yeah. to, to just like people, give away members, charity, give away all this stuff. Literally. So it's like, we don't have a problem with that. And honestly, it's like, especially when it's close friends and family, you can come to us. It's like not, a, not an issue, but it's the fact that the volume of people coming to us, we can't like decide of like, I don't feel comfortable being like, well, I'm going to choose to help you, but I can't help these other people that are clearly in the same situation. There's no difference. There's no differentiation. Yeah, and I think that because... So Beth does a good job, like, defending me, I guess, because, uh, like, people go to her, but, like, people go to her for me. Like, mm -hmm. can you act swag? Can he give me this? Yada, yada. Mm -hmm. And she does a good job defending me because when they text me directly um, and I don't respond or I respond one time and then I don't respond for three or four days, they, th they take it personal. And yeah. it's like, he is busy. He's running, yeah, yeah. you know, several businesses. He's trading. He's doing this and that. Like, yeah. you're in, like, I know this is a priority for you. It's not a priority for him. Him physically giving money away is not a priority. And this is not, like I said, like, no my mother I, her I, mother this yes, is not but that even that though i wish this was just like one two or three people this is yeah. like six people no, no. in one month yeah so these and these are all people i feel like maybe like there's but priority yeah like, that's like what i'm saying for me. but i'm saying that are yeah. texting me personally i'm not gotcha. talking about dms i'm gotcha. not talking about people yeah. reaching out i'm talking about that are texting me personally and there's like levels to it of people that i'm closer with so i prioritize them more but it's hard when i'm like 
I know that this situation is the most critical for you right now, but we have so much going on and I'm not trying to diminish anything that you're going through. But at the end of the day, nobody's looking at our side of like, what are you going through? How is this affecting you? Is it, you know, like all this Am stuff? I the only one? Yeah. Because I looked at the math. It's probably over $250,000 if I said yes to everybody. <sighs> yeah, it's like, for one month. It's like, really? Like I have my yeah. own stuff I want to do. I have my own projects. I'm working mm -hmm. on a project for, you know, a prop firm I'm working <laughs> on and other things that other businesses that I'm working on. I don't have the desire or time to help every single person so th the point i'm trying to say is that like it like i guess getting to this point comes with so much you know pressure per se yeah. that of you work hard to be the boss you work hard to be the person that makes the decisions but then you don't realize of like not only do we have to take care of family members we have to take care of you know somewhat close friends and there's people that are reaching out to us r random to make sure they're good or people that are counting our money or telling us we should be donating to this charity or charity or how much you're spending here or you know like there's a lot of pressure to where people think that since you're a public figure and you have money that they're entitled to tell you how to spend your money or they're they just assume that you have an endless bank account and i'm like what if i need to buy stuff for the month so we have done so many times where we've given away all of our money for the month and i don't have the money that i need to take care of me and so we are learning okay put ourselves first but it's a really hard yeah, thing to people do don't understand that's like like yeah like for and i'm gonna give an example like one month we may make five hundred thousand dollars in a month yeah. or, or higher or a little bit lower people don't understand is that like from what me and Bay have done so far which we're changing right now we're learning yeah. to pay ourselves all that stuff yeah. what we've done for the longest is let's say we make 500,000 we would literally put 433,000 back into either the business or yeah. other businesses or future projects um, yeah. more more team, you know, things of that nature to like continue building the empire then, and then we pay by the time we pay our expenses we don't get paid so it's very frustrating because people are like assuming that we're the ones you know with the bank accounts and the overflow when it's like actually we're the business owners we're the one taking all the risk and our employees have to get paid so that means my bank account is empty and i don't think people get that yeah no and that's not all the time like i not said because it's, like, it's like i think alex and said it well like there'd be some months where it's like oh we have a you know a profit of 350 350,000 mm -hmm. and some months we have a profit of zero and that's like cool you know what yeah. i mean it's like as long as we don't have like a, a exactly. down a down and month per at se. the end of the day that's not the point a roof is over my head, clothes are on my back, we're fed. That stuff is always taken care of. But I mean, like, people are like, oh, you can just walk in and buy, you know, Gucci and blah, blah, blah. I would never because I we have things to, you know, yeah. it's just not like that. So it's just frustrating because people want you to take all the risks and do all the work. And then when it's time to reap the reward, they think that they're entitled to Yeah, and to also it. we have a, and it goes back to why why we're doing it. Because somebody may say, if you make 500000 a month or more, which I've done a bunch of times, mm -hmm. why don't you just, you know, Pay your team, yeah. pay your uh, your housing team, like you know, like uh, housekeepers and stuff, and yeah. then, then pay ourselves. Yeah. And that's the question Ugh. that we got to answer because, Ugh. or at least I got to answer yeah. because, like, it's like every single month, like clockwork, I will put ninety percent of the money back into projects or businesses. Like, like I literally owe like maybe three hundred thousand right now in projects because, like, when you do projects with like developers and things of that nature, it's like first milestone, second milestone, third milestone. So like developers have done it on the first milestone. So when the second, third milestone comes up, that's an extra hundred k, then two hundred k, and it's just like cool. But people may ask that, and I, I guess we had got to talk about what is it we really want. Because we talked about this yeah. two nights ago, like, why can't we just make our money, change lives, but then keep it all for ourselves as opposed yeah. to reinvesting into new things. Yeah, but that's a part of, like, the us figuring out business, us, to, you know, like, really, like, learning. Uh, which we're, is cool. We're learning. Which is getting back to the, the overall point. Like, my yeah. focus is you and Allura. So I don't want anybody to take offense if I don't want to donate $200,000 to... 20 different people in yeah. this month and here's the kicker it's like if somebody's bringing us like value that's that's completely you different. know different yeah you know like if you're like, and that's the thing yes if you're offering to you know if you're working for us if you're bringing in you know some like you said something of value where we're like great we have no problem with that but if you're just asking us to pay you know your debts and then there's obviously no way that you can pay us back it, it but just then say like, you're gonna pay us back. Yeah, you, you know you're not. I'm like, you know, I'm not a bank, and if a bank wouldn't take out a loan on you because you wouldn't be able to pay them back, why would I take out a loan? And it, it sucks because you got people like a uh, uh, Gary V, mm -hmm. a Grant Cardone, um, you know, Steve, Hart, people like that who say flat out, like, just what you said, I am not a bank. Like, yeah. my cousin will text me, and I'm talking about Grant Cardone. He'll say my cousin will text me and ask me for twenty six thousand dollars, and I'm, I'll tell him I'm not a bank. Go to the bank. Like, I, yeah. I don't care if I'm, I'm I'm broke. Like, this is Grant Cardone. I'm broke. Yeah. All my money's in, into the business, yeah. which is true. Like, 
But don't people, come to me. But people make assumptions, and I think that's the hard part. I don't think we were prepared for the amount of assumptions that people make. Um, and then people just like people just try to tear you down for no reason. Like that's happened a lot of times. Like yeah. if we don't show them our money or we don't prove to them that uh, about our money, then they assume we're lying or we're faking or we're scamming. Like no. it's just too much pressure. Um, but also, I would wouldn't trade this pressure because I'd rather be rich and having these problems than be you know broke. But it is just like you know. M- People can't just let you like enjoy. Yeah, I don't know. It sounds like what is it? First world problems, or the case may be. Yeah. I don't. Sounds I crazy. Don't, sounds crazy. But like I said, I, I don't know. It, it's it's heavy because just like people don't understand. If you look at my my daily schedule, right? I have a, a a wife and a daughter who are my main priorities. Then I have four different businesses who are my main priorities. Then I have employees who all deserve to get paid, but who's all working on different projects. Like I check in right on the video side, then on the customer service side, then on the AI side, then on the tech side, uh, just things like that in general. And then aside from that, I have to find time for my own fitness, and I don't want to neglect at all anymore. Then I gotta find time. You know what I mean? Just and for that's why we have a chef prayer. so that he can eat. Yeah, and, yeah. literally. It's, yeah. It's a, and then on, on a top of all that, make sure my family, in terms of my mom, my brother, is all good. And then number eight, nine, or ten yeah. is just like, oh, I got thirty different people who's asking me for money, and if I don't respond yeah. in a day, it's three question mark, three like yeah. double texting, double texting, or like I need it now. When yeah. it's like I don't care if it's first world problems. Like it's yeah. a lot of stress. It's a lot of stress, and there's still friendships and people being like, you know, oh, you haven't talked to me in a month, and it's like I don't have time to talk. You know, so there's so many things, but back it's to tricky. One, one more oh, thing, because oh. like I'm gonna emphasize the point, because it's like it's tricky because it's like I can know somebody six years ago and that's cool yeah. and we'll talk, but like prime example, we talk about team. Like I have yeah. Connor and Hans here. They both can text me at four o'clock in the morning. I'm responding. Somebody asking for money without any value in return at four o'clock. I mean, I respond for four days because it's not my priority. Yeah, and that shouldn't be taken personal. Agreed, but people do. But okay, anyways, so. There you go. You've heard something that back to my original thought of list is I have to deal with this. I have a husband who is under an immense amount of stress all the time. So my job as a wife is to be, you know, somebody that cushions him, make sure he's calm, make sure things are taken care of. I have to take care of the house. I have to make sure if there's anything broken or fixed. I'm the only one that yeah, quasi speaks Spanish. I so I yeah. like I genuinely have to run a household. I am working on my brand at the same time. Instagram, you know, YouTube, TikTok, whatever it may be. I'm raising a one-year-old i'm pregnant at the same time i have some staff that lives in my house that i have to manage and then i also want to spend time with my husband so then i get you know these things or i'll get comments from people of like maybe you should you should take time and raise your kid instead of having nannies raise her and that bothers me as much as people are like oh f those people yeah but that's bothersome because i'm literally in the house all day every day running around i'm with my daughter my daughter prefers me and so it's so overwhelming yeah. that people think that they can throw their judgment or even if it's nannies that throw their judgment of like oh she should be sleeping um in her own bed by now girl listen my my daughter wants to sleep with me until she's seven she just (laughs) relaxed because i can't be this perfect little person and i feel like you know i would love to have an instagram aesthetic i would love to post the cute little videos of like this is what i do and wake up in a day girl i'm just trying to wake up i don't have time (laughs) to film myself waking up and doing all the things and it's frustrating because at the end of the day my goal was to get financial stability so that i can be a great wife and a great mom but i don't think people understand that in order to continue financial stability and in order to continue to grow you can't like you can't cut off for a second like i can't let up we have to keep going we have to keep grinding we got you know like i said things that add up and expenses that get paid so as much as i want to just take a break and be like well let me enjoy you know this for a year and let me just not text anybody back i can't do that yeah but it also goes to the point like why are we doing this? Because like somebody may say, Ooh. like if you are making eight figures in a year, why are you still working? And I think that more so falls on me because me and Bailey talk about this a lot. You know, it's kind of like frustrating sometimes. Yeah, I try to convince him. I'm like, babe, we I can wanna, move to the country and we to can buy time, like, a house that is this much right and we would never Missouri, have to work again. Literally. Like I would tell him because I'm just genuinely like, we don't have to do this. We don't. But I understand his vision and I want to be a supportive wife. So I sacrifice a lot to make sure that he has the room to grow and he yeah. can work in peace and not have to feel like oh my god my wife is nagging me all the time but it does suck sometimes because i'm like y'all yeah baby's been very supportive <laughs> but um yeah like and the baby's vision would be to like take all the money right now say screw everybody just live on a, on a not yeah. a farm no dead ass. Like you know i'm country i'm like let me have a horse just get away like, you have know? one phone <laughs> you know i'm like let me grow grow my food right. like i'm very me, just, I'm just like, like i want to change a million lives and i want to have yeah. an empire i want to have a big physical Swag facility wants to be able to walk down the street and not be able to move like he he wants people to not that <laughs> not that no and i don't want that no more whatsoever no more okay. not even close yeah, no okay. I, I want that i want, wanted that at 23 okay. off of tv 
I don't want that at all anymore. I just want to build something that outlives me. Like that, yeah, that that's legacy. the biggest thing, a legacy. Like if I died 70, 80, 90 years from now, whatever, I want to like my kids or Laura, you know, or um, our other child to feel like, and I said other child because I don't think we even said the gender yet by yeah. now, but um, be, to like feel like their dad and mom did something. Yeah. And that's what pushes me more. Cause which, like I, said, I could stop right now, but, but I don't also, want to. But also, which is totally fair. And like I said, it's something that I support, but at the same time, I have like mixed emotions because part of me is like, you know, once you're dead and gone, nobody's going to remember you anyway. So we might as well just enjoy our life. But at the same time, I'm like, no, that's not true. People do leave legacies and people are remembered, you know, so I'm not going to fault you either way. But I do want to make sure we make it a priority to actually enjoy our our wealth, enjoy our hard work, because I don't feel like. But it's tricky because it's like people can look at Instagram because we do enjoy our wealth. We've been on two private, three private jets this year. We've been to Dubai first class with our family. Totally. I'm just talking about stress wise. I know. I'm not talking about. But but I I don't know if that'll ever change because it's like, oh. Huh. People, I feel like people are always gonna like nag us. Or prime example, because like I don't even think that that part na- message stresses you. I think it stresses me more. So you, I think what stresses you more is is uh, having to run a house, yeah. and then people who you're hiring to make your life easier, not making your life easier. Yeah, and I think that is tricky. You know what I mean? Because you don't yeah. want people in and out like hire, fire, hire, fire, hire, fire. Yeah, but the whole mean? hire slowly, fire quickly thing, like it has to happen. And then you have to retrain people. And then, you know, like it's just a constant thing yeah. of like, everybody's like, yeah, like I want to, like I want to be a wife with staff and I want to, then you got to run the, run the staff. You got to, you know, you got to hire, you got to fire, you got to be strict. I would love to be young and fun and go out partying with the people that I hire, but I can't because I'm the boss. So it's just, yeah. there's just so many responsibilities. Uh, last thing, what are, what are uh, solutions in your mind for that part in terms of <sighs> the, the, what you said earlier, the wife, the mother, but also being the, the runner of the house? Like, how do you find peace amidst all of that? Me? Um, I'll look into the camera for this. And, and wait, make sure this, because oh. you're talking above the camera a lot. Sorry. Okay. Um. I'm just gonna have to learn how to be comfortable being a bitch and I don't care anymore. I used to get really offended when people would be like, oh my God, she's scary, she's intimidating, she's a big bad wolf. Um, And I realized that when I'm not that way and I'm not firm with my boundaries, then people run all over me and I can't take it that way. So if people are gonna be upset about me being the boss, then maybe don't work for me. I need to protect my peace, I need to protect my husband, I need to protect my children. And when people, when you give people an inch, they take a mile and I'm tired of being run over. So at this point, if I want the boss life, I'm just going to have to boss up, suck it up, stop complaining. So yeah. that's it. Not that I have to cut you off, but like there are so many people in Dorado who are 30 times rich. I'm talking like nine yeah. figures richer than us telling, we tell them our stories. And they're like, you're crazy. Yeah, that wouldn't work for me. That wouldn't yeah. work for me. Like, no, I would get rid of the person. They're like, oh, I would fire them on the fire, spot. Like they, and then it's crazy I'm not giving my brother because money. Because our employees like, cry and they're like, you're so mean. And then yeah. I'm like, oh my God, I'm so I'm terrible. giving you, I'm, gi- like, no, I'm yeah, giving no, you a chance. Yeah. Right? Like, so I was like, babe, you're just, just a little bit nicer and i'm like but i'm trying you know i'm trying but i genuinely just have to say like you can't pray for something and then be be mad when it comes to you i prayed for responsibility i prayed for a life that we are able to make for ourselves we prayed for a business we prayed for these things and i have a husband that requires me to step up and he's like hey i shouldn't be doing your job for you you need to be the one you know he's like on my head and 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 in that case no 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 no, 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 listen okay that's not about money that's more so about no. Employees she hired. Yeah. Why am I talking to them about what they're doing wrong? Yeah. That is not my No, but job. totally. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So I have responsibilities, you know, that I need to run. So I, if I'm going to be this person, if I want to live this lifestyle, everybody thinks this lifestyle is cutesy and I just get to sit at home and my man throws money at me not and at that's all. that's not what yeah, I'm doing. Stressed. I am She's working running around and I'm 6 working. 6 a.m. to <laughs> 9, 9 to <laughs> Yeah, I pass out and he's yeah, feeding me food yeah. in the bed because I'm so tired. Yeah. So I just need like i said i just need a, a boss up and i know that the the benefits will eventually come but i'm not going to um yeah see i'm, I'm, I'm different with bailey like for me like it's like the benefits are here you know like we, we live the life we want i think yeah but he likes more. working i i don't yeah so that, my benefits will be when i finally get the perfect team and everybody can flow that, without bothering me you. on a regular basis and even if they come to me for something it's it's more of like rare it's not like i have to sit and hold your hand and walk you through every step then yeah. i have other people like i just need a functional team so that i can go back to doing yoga y'all i want to <laughs> do yoga i want to go to the pool in the middle yeah. of the day like i want to be able to enjoy instead of always having to run around and where's tell, tell somebody where's what where's to Bailey? do yeah where's yeah no yeah. i know for sure yeah no and meanwhile chris, chris is like i'm on i'm in work don't yeah, bother me do so everybody's me. calling I'm me working. and i'm, I'm taking working. notes for him 
Yeah, no. And hopefully we can do that in the next year for you. Oh, I, I would agree. love that. Thanks, babe. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, the benefit for me, I guess, is just, I don't know. He's, uh, he's enjoying it. He I, loves I love to work. It. He loves to build. He likes to make money, and he's doing all those things. It's great. Um, I think I would love uh, more stability with the overall uh, team, just in uh, general, with the customer support, just all the areas where it's like, I know people who, when we went to go meet Gary V five years ago, they're yeah. still there now. Yeah. With us, it's like rotating, rotating, and I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't want that. You know, that that that's what I would want. Um, Loyalty that, that'll keep me. Yeah. You know, stable, I guess, and happy. But great. I feel like we're at thirty minutes um, now. Thanks so. for venting. Letting um. Letting us it, yeah. Thanks for listening <laughs> to our event. I. I think if you're watching this, it's just an insight into our life. A lot of people look at our life and then they're like, oh, I would like to live that. But there's there's some responsibility. So yeah. still manifest it, still do it. But just know that like we're trying our best, but we're not perfect people. And it's a lot. I'm tired. Yeah. And I'm going to plug something. So if you are out there and you're <laughs> interested in what I'm doing or uh, interested in being a trader or learning trading, whether it's you or your husband yeah. or your wife, whatever it may be, go to the website that we put below um, mm-hmm. and uh, you'll see everything I got and what I'm doing. Exactly. All right. Love you guys. Later.